The interesting thing is, and the important thing is, the Torah doesn't sanction love at all. It encourages it. You know what the problem has been? Men have not been able to love each other in this world. In any real sense. It's the reason why everybody thinks that David and Yonatan, David and Jonathan, were homosexual. Because they couldn't imagine that two men should love each other so much and not get into bed with each other. It doesn't show any indication of that whatsoever in the Pesukim. And people tend to love reading that into the Pesukim all the time. No indication whatsoever. What it says, they married each other. In terms of friendship rings. It says they, create, they established a covenant between each other. They loved each other soul to soul. They were soulmates. So you know what happens to us in a Western world? We can't think of that without sex. And that's a problem. Men are capable of love. And the Torah cultivates it. And it is why the Torah takes the relationship of David and Yonatan and puts it on display. Look how early it was. How before the whole sexual revolution, and you should know that ironically, the sexual revolution opened the doors for this. With all of the other junk that it brought with it, it opened the doors for us being able to hang our hang-ups at the door. So the Torah talks about David and Yonatan. You look at them, I mean, read this, it's, it's, it's insane. Number 28. It, David's talking to Shaul after he slayed Goliath. Right? So he's talking to Shaul, and Shaul is enamored with David, because he just slayed this giant, right? And David's like, you know, young, beautiful kid. He's told, we're told that he's beautiful, right? He's tov ro'i, he's, you know. So Shaul's talking to him, and who's watching? Yonatan is watching. His father, the king, talked to this young man. He finishes the conversation. And the soul of Yonatan tie, was tied bound to the soul of David. That's falling in love. Notice the language of the Pasuk. It's like an immediate. Where's David? Yonatan Kenafsho and Yonatan loved him like his own soul. And you tell me which man is comfortable enough to say that he loves another man this way. Yeah? Yonatan David Brit. Immediately, they establish a covenant between each other. They know, he knows that I know, that you know, that I know, that you know that we love each other. This is what it is. We love each other. So what does he do? He takes off his coat and he gives it to him and he takes off his sword and he gives it to him as an act of establishing covenant with him. He doesn't get undressed. He's not naked now, Yonatan. Right? He takes off his cloak and his sword and he gives him his belt and he says, these, these are my trappings. I'm giving them to you. It's an act of covenant. What does he say? So it's the, what David says about, this is just Yonatan. What does David say about this love after Yonatan dies? He says to him, Nifle'at ahavatcha li me'avat nafshim. Very strange thing. He says, your love for me was beyond. Pele means it's out of the normal. It's extraordinary. That's literally what Pele means. Your love for me was more extraordinary than love of women. What's David saying? David's saying, the way that I understand it, I interpret it, David is saying over here, I didn't have any of that sexual tension with you. It was pure. We could love each other completely and wholly. I could hug you and kiss you and caress you and talk to you and be intimate with you. And none of that dissonance of the basal elements of sexuality that we draw with us from primal situations, it wasn't present. That's how pure my, our love was. And that's what David is saying to him. And that's why, let's just take a look at the Mitzvah Dat He says, It's so beyond that it's very odd, which is precisely why everybody thinks that they were having sex. Because you can't imagine that there would be such a, such a closeness and intimacy and it doesn't translate into sex, certainly with two men. 
But that's what it's saying. Nifle'ata means, it doesn't say it was much stronger love. It doesn't say that. It doesn't say that it was more powerful. It doesn't say that. It says nifle'ata. It was extraordinary. It was beyond the norm. It wasn't regular. You know why it wasn't regular for them? Because no one else in society was secure enough, vulnerable enough, spiritual enough, loving enough to allow themselves to be able to have such a relationship. You cannot deny the fact that he chose to talk about something that he says from the beginning, I'm going to offend people. He didn't mean us, trust me, he didn't mean us. He meant he's going to offend the people that wanted him to say that it's permissible. But he wasn't able to give them that, that leniency. He took them to the, to the brink, but he says, please, you're going to forgive me, but I'm bound. I'm bound by a pasuk, and I haven't yet figured out a way how to, how to get out of it yet. So as of now, the text is the text, but you know, David and Yonatan, they were lovers. What type of talk is that? What type of talk is that? Where's your tradition? Where did you hear that? Who told you about this? So, this is, this is again. And he, he's proud that he comes from West Hollywood. You know, that's, that's the tradition. That's the Mesorah, you know, the, the tradition of West Hollywood. Yonatan, the son of Shaul the king, was in love with David Amelech in a homosexuality relation. This is what the lefty in Israel, the haters of the Torah, they make fun of the Torah. This is what they say. From them he learned it. That Yonatan, he loved David, not as two buddies, two friends, two brothers. He loved him, a love of a man to a woman. He loved him, a love of a man to a man. Meaning Yonatan was a gay, he had gay feelings. This is what he says. Yonatan fell in love with David. Which man is comfortable saying he loves another man the same way as Yonatan with David? He's asking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Rabbi Yosef Dweck in his glory. What if I love another man? Is it not... Is it not fathomable? What does it mean, fathomable? Conceivable. Huh? Conceivable. Some words, you know, my English is not perfect. Some words I never heard in my life yet. Baruch Hashem. 